Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense, and today I am back with another haul video. I know it's been a while. The last one was empties. I have just been super busy with work. It's that time of year, and so I haven't gotten around too much. This is like cumulative haul of random different places. My best friend came into town for three days and we went to the outlet, so there's some of that. A little bit about the Body Works. There's all kinds of stuff. So let's get started. I'm sorry about the delay. I will try my best to upload a video at least once a week is my goal. I used to do it like every day. So I'm sorry, work is just crazy. But let's get started with the first thing and one of my favorites. And my friend and I went to the Fossil Outlet at the outlets and she kind of looked at me like, why are we going in here? Because it's kind of like for the old Fossil watches, like old school. But I was like, I love their bags. Let's just see what they have. So they ended up having this backpack that we both ended up falling in love with. Uh, my best friend's name is Megan and this backpack's name is the Megan backpack. So full circle, we had to get it. Uh, there is a major reason why I got this one in particular, but I'll show you in a second. Uh, it does have this front zip pocket. It's really deep, super nice. And then it has so much room on the inside. It's like you could fit anything you could possibly ever imagine in this bag. It has a zipper back here, and then in the front it has like two slip pockets here. And then it does have the fossil key ring thing, and then this is a keychain I added that's from Hobby Lobby that just looked really cute with it. And the most important, and it's a beautiful like camel color leather. The most important reason why I got it is because I love having backpacks. I like being hands-free. I do carry purses all the time, but when I'm like shopping especially, but I hate trying to get out my phone. I hate my phone being in my back pocket. And so this has the back zipper that you can just slide your phone in and slide out without having to take off the backpack. So if the backpack is on, woo, this is kind of awkward. If the backpack is on like this, I can just go like this, zipper, take it out, Look at my phone, slip it back in, zip it back up, and I don't have to take off the backpack. That's the major reason why I got it, but it happens to go with everything and look good with everything. So I've been wearing it nonstop, and my friend Megan, who's back up in Jersey, she's been wearing it nonstop. She's like, I can't get enough of this. Like, I haven't even touched any of my other purses, which is probably not a good thing, but uh, it's called the Fossil Megan Backpack. It's kind of hard to find. I got it at the outlet. I know they have some on Poshmark, and Macari, but if you guys are looking for a backpack, like the perfect purse backpack, this is the one. So there's that. Uh, I did go to the co coach outlet with my sister-in-law right before my best friend came into town. They came into town like opposite weeks and I found this purse and I just couldn't say no to it. And I was trying so hard to just walk away from it. I couldn't walk away from it. And of course, it's like from their New York flagship store. Like, why didn't I pick any of the other ones? I had to pick like the most expensive one in the store, but I just loved the chain of this. I thought it was beautiful. It's kind of like a bronze gold and it says coach all along it. By the way, Coach is making a comeback in a big way. I mean, if you go to a Coach store or Coach Outlet or go to coach.com, their bags are some of the prettiest bags I've ever seen. And I wouldn't say that five years ago, but just check out Coach because they are coming back and it's insane how pretty their bags are. Uh, it's like a cow, cow, oh, what's it called? Genuine glove tan leather, it says right there. The back has a slip pocket. It does have the grommets all along the side, has the coach tag. Even like these little things say coach. It's so detailed. This is the top part of it. I'm just in love with it. If you could do crossbody or regular, this would be a crossbody. And then you just open it. You can detach this chain part, but the chain part is part of the reason why I'm so in love with it. And then on the inside, it just is kind of small. It has a zip pocket, it has a pocket here, and it has like a slip pocket here, but I just couldn't say no. It's one of those things that, oh, oh no, my hat. It's one of those bags that I won't wear all the time, but I will wear like if we go out to dinner or I don't know, on vacation. I don't know, I just, 
is so in love with it. And it's from their flagship New York City store. So I had to get it. But that's my other big purchase, even though I'm using my $60 backpack every single day. The next thing is from Kate Spade, and it's just something little. I saw this and it's very cutesy, and I'm trying not to buy so much cutesy because I am 36 and I feel like I love like the bright colors and all of that, but I probably should like tone it down just, just, just a smidge. But this was super inexpensive. I go through these often because I don't carry a like a wallet wallet. I carry the card cases. And once you put the cards in and out of it like a ton of times, the leather starts to loosen and you have to buy a new one because you don't want your cards falling out. So I bought this Alice in Wonderland one. You, I love Disney. Everybody knows I love Disney. I just thought it was so cute. And then it says Kate Spade in the back and it has... The card, you can put the card stuff. It's Disney, Alice in Wonderland, Disney Times Coach. You can put the stuff in the middle and then it has the one, two, three pockets on either side. So it'll hold a lot. I just thought it was so cute. And it did come with this too. And it was, I think it ended up being like, I want to say $18. So super inexpensive. Like the card cases at Target are like 15 or 20. So it wasn't too expensive. So I grabbed that and it's in my purse. So I feel like I can do like my sister-in-law's like, if you still like that cutesy stuff, you can do that for like your wallet instead of your bag. And I agreed with her. The next thing was the, this chart breezy. Um, they had a sale. I just grabbed this. It ended up being cheaper than the mini ones. But let me tell you, the mini one I've had for like a year, I'm actually like going through that thing so fast, but it has lasted me so long. So you don't have to get the big guy. You can just get the little guy and it'll last a really long time. This one I got in Berry Bliss. The other one I believe is Pink Sky. I haven't used it yet, but it's just a berry color. And I just thought the like raspberry-ish color would be perfect for this time of year. So I grabbed that. And then what's next? Okay, so at the Coach Outlet, we smelt this Coach Floral Auto Perfume. And I, we both, my sister-in-law sister -in and I both fell in love with it. We thought it was amazing. But it was like $65 or $70. So I'm like, maybe I can get it online for cheaper. So I went to Walmart.com and it ended up being like $30 shipped to my door. And it is so pretty. If you don't like florals, skip ahead. This is not for you but um i do it just smells like it's just it's just floral and a little bit of um powder but like not a lot cuz i'm not big on like super powder scents but it's just so nice it's just like when you walk by and you get a whiff and it's it's so nice the packaging if you need to give a christmas gift is absolutely gorgeous it has the coach carriage on the front and then it has a flower and then it has the metal coach tag. And then this is all leather. Even this flower that says coach right here, it's all leather. And then it does have like, you know how the top coach bags look like that? So that's what the perfume looks like. If you put it to the side, it's closed. If you put it to the front, it's open. I just love it so much. It's a great gift. It was super inexpensive and it smells so good, which by the way, I finally used my points 20% off. I still paid a lot of money for it, but I got the Gucci Flora that I've been wanting for so long and I went into Sephora and I sprayed myself with it and it smells beautiful on the card. It smells rancid like sour milk on my skin and I've... I've heard people say things don't combine well with your skin, and I get that. I have that with lotions at Bath & Body Works all the time, but this was like sour milk, rancid, nasty smell on my skin, and I've never had it be that bad before. And so I bought it off of Ulta. It should be here any day now. I'm not even gonna open it. I'm just gonna go ahead and return it and start over. I do have a ton of perfumes, but I was looking for another new perfume, and so, I'm starting over with that. I'm going to have to return that, which stinks because I hate returning. But what are you going to do? Next, uh, I did get a Bath & Body Works order. I didn't order a lot of stuff. Honestly, I've decided for the most part, unless it's something like new, and I'll probably participate in Candle Day, but I'm trying to like not keep things for the packaging 
Cause like they're just, it's not like I'm displaying them. They're just sitting in my drawers. I have like 250 candles. I have candles everywhere. I just need to get through them and start over and not have so many. I will say, in my opinion, I know people have all different opinions. The older the candle, unless it's like really old, but like a one year or two year old candles to me smell stronger than when you just get them at the, when they're just poured when you just get them at the store. My opinion, I know everybody has different opinions about that, but that's how I feel. So I don't mind having a back stock of them. I just need to tone down the stock a little, just a little bit. Um, this one is called Under the Christmas Tree. So pretty. It's a beautiful wraparound, pretty lid, reindeer and trees on the lid. It is fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. I get mostly the uh, the fir balsam is the strongest, but I do get like eggnog. I, it's weird, but I do get it at the end. This is like perfect Christmas. Love this. Hopefully it burns great. I didn't get a whole bunch. This one I haven't burned yet, but this one's fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. And I kind of get the same vibe as under the Christmas tree. So if you're only, like, you don't have to get both. Like, this one ha does have the stronger balsam smell. This one has the pine smell. But this one almost smells like vanilla eggnog, just like this one. And they both have, like, a piney tree smell. So the perfect Christmas and under the Christmas tree, I, I'm going to use both. I'm not going to bring one back, but I don't think you'd need both. I think you just pick one or the other. This one's a little bit sweeter with a little bit less of that tree smell. And this one is stronger with the tree smell and it has more of the vanilla eggnog, vanilla sweet smell in the background. That's my opinion on those. This packaging, I might not burn. I know I just said that, but I might not burn this and just display it every year because I already burnt three of these but this packaging of the Marshmallow Fireside is just so dang cute. I love the plaid. I love the trees, the snow-capped trees, and then the bear in the sweater. It's just so cute. This is just an amazing scent. I don't know many people who don't like this. Toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. Obviously, you guys can tell that I like the tree woodsy smell mixed with a little bit of sweet because that's what these all are. But I get those three. I think that's all I'm going to... No, it's not all I'm going to get. I might get like one or two more, but that's it. Anywho, uh, there was some sale. I don't even know what sale this was. But I got this Love uh, Cotton Candy Champagne Moisturizing Body Wash. And it smells amazing, in my opinion. I haven't washed with it. Then I got backups of Pomegranate Extract Wellness. The Avocado Body Wash. Um, then this is the At The Beach Body Scrub, a twisted peppermint for when I have headaches. This one looks bigger for some reason. And what else? Oh, I did get the Cotton Candy Champagne in the Diamond Shimmer Mist. It's kind of like, it's not like glitter. It's like a shimmer. So if you're scared to get this because you think that you wouldn't like glitter all over you, it's more of a shimmer than it is like actual like glitter specks. I mean, you do see it, but it's not like overwhelming. I hope I'm making sense there. Like it does, it, like it's more of a shimmer than it's just gold chunks on you. And was that it? Oh, and even though this is light, one of my favorite things about Bath & Body Works is their travel perfumes or sprays. And so I love having them on hand in my purse, at work, all of that. And so I did get the Pure Wonder. I do think it's a light scent. Ooh, where are you? I do find it to be a really light scent, but a very enjoyable light scent. And so I ended up really liking this. I don't think I'll get the whole line, but I'm happy that I have the spray. That's it from Bath & Body Works. Okay, next. I did go to uh, Ulta.com on the first day these were released. I got two of them. I don't think I'm going to get the big sizes because I get two of the mini ones. But the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. Ooh, I have so many of the sugar scrubs, so I didn't want to go crazy with them. But the first is Pink Champagne. And this one, it just smells like... 
like a little fruity and bubbly. So I guess that's good. Candy cane obviously is my favorite because it smells like peppermint and it has like chunks of red in it. And I think that's really cute. And then this one was surprising, sugar plum berries. I ended up really loving this scent. Ooh. It's very sugar plum. Very, very strong of like, almost like candy, like, like sugar coated candy, like gummies, but very strong, but very good. The next thing I got was just this hemp's whipped mint marshmallow that I thought looked really good, even though I just was watching a dermatologist because I always do on YouTube and they did say mint chapsticks actually dry out your lips. So this might not have been a good idea, but I did it. Next thing, uh, my outlets had an American Eagle Airy outlet and I did not know. So when I got there, I went a little crazy and I was so excited. I got this. This is uh, just an airy waffle uh, Henley. And this came out last year. Doesn't matter to me what year it came out. I thought it was really pretty. They had it in gray, but I did get the camel color. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks so much like a deer. <laughs> that I don't know if that was a good idea, but I am hosting a reindeer games party this year for Christmas. So this actually would work out perfectly not mad about it. Then this, I wish they came out with it again because I bought, I have like them in three colors. This is the fourth color. I wish I could get my hands on more, but I love these, especially living in Florida because they're not super, ooh, it's hooded. It has these long tie things. Uh, it's the, what's this called again? Oh, corded. It's the corded hoodies and it's oversized, really nice. The inside isn't fuzzy. It's just kind of plain, which is good in Florida because like this morning it was freezing. It was like in the 40s. And then I wore this flannel shirt. And by the time I got out to running errands, it was like 75, 80. And it was so hot. So this is like perfect for Florida. And I wish they came out with them this year, but they didn't. That's okay. And then I love anything mock neck. And this is just, these were super inexpensive, like seven or eight bucks. Um, this is just a little mock neck, long sleeved gray shirt, just to wear running errands, work, whatever, nice and soft, thin. I love Airy. I know that some of their stuff doesn't last forever, but I still love it. Okay, next. Um, okay, I did get this dry shampoo. Uh, if you watch Love, Comma, Amber, her name is Amber, and her uh, YouTube channel is Love, Comma, Comma, Amber, she does all Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, all of that stuff, but she was talking about losing her hair after COVID, three months after COVID. We had COVID around the same time. And so in my last video, I was like, oh, it doesn't matter what dry shampoo, blah, blah, blah. I don't use it that much. I wash my hair every other day. Well, about four days after that, I started losing hair. And I don't mean like a couple strands. I mean, chunks of hair, hysterically crying, so upset. I know it's such a vain thing, but everybody's always like, Jessica, your hair's so thick. So to start losing clumps of hair was just so like heartbreaking to me. And so I went to the doctor. I'm all cleared. They've checked everything that they could possibly check. And so the only thing we can narrow it down to is COVID and whatever your hair does, it's affected three months prior. And so uh, when I started losing it, I had had COVID like exactly three months prior. So that's the only thing I can think of. I'm still gonna consult with my dermatologist, but yeah, I'm losing chunks of hair. So in the meantime, I don't wanna wash it as much as I normally do. And so I did get this Dove Dry Shampoo, cause remember in my last video, I love this and I did not care about expensive dry shampoos. But saying that, I kind of have to care because I can't wash it as much as I used to. So at Sephora, I did pick up to try, is it right here? The Living Proof Perfect Hair Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. This was really expensive. This was like $7 for this guy. This was like 16 and this is uh, two ounces. This is 7.3 ounces. So I'm going to try both. If this ends up working way better, I'm just going to have to buy the expensive stuff until 
whatever's happening with my hair just calms down. I'm not saying that my hair, like I have no hair left. I do have hair, um, but compared to what it was, it is like I can put it in a little ponytail now, whereas before it was like an hour to blow dry. And so if you have had COVID or you've stressed out because you were scared you were gonna have COVID or you were just stressed in the pandemic, there's a whole thing about people losing their hair. Uh, if you go to, I think it's realsimple.com, they have a whole article about it and that's how I learned about it. So I will keep you guys updated, but nobody has been talking about it. And so when I saw Amber talk about losing her hair, that's what I was trying to say, is that she, the first thing she said in her video was about losing her hair and I immediately went to her comments and I was like, no way, thank you so much for saying this because nobody's been talking about this and I thought I was going crazy and I was doing all this research and getting blood work done and all of this stuff and so I'm, I'm not happy that she's losing her hair, trust me, I don't want her to, but I'm happy that she spoke about it to inform other people that that is a side effect of COVID. But I will continue. This guy, I obviously, I love the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I know it's called Boom Boom Cream, but I like to call it Bum Bum Cream because that's what it says. It doesn't say B-O-O-M, it says B-U-M. So I hate when companies do that. So in my opinion, it's Bum Bum, even if they call it Boom Boom. So I love that. I got a sample of the pink one, which I don't even know what this is called, black, uh, the Brazilian Crush 40. And so I got a sample of the pink one and I just put it in my cabinet, honestly, and didn't think about it. Well, the other day I got out of the shower and I put it on and I, it smelled really nice, very sweet, super nice. I love the smell, but it was not as strong as the original. And so I was like, eh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Like the next morning I woke up to take a shower and I smelt my skin and I could still smell it on my skin. So I slept in the lotion and I could still smell it. And to me, that's what makes a strong lotion because Bath and Body Works doesn't even do that. I wake up and I don't really smell it anymore. And so I decided to get the hair and body fragrance mist. It's still sealed, but this fragrance is like unassuming, but it is it is long lasting and it has like this beautiful fragrance to where if somebody walks by you, they'll just like notice just this sweet, just this hint of sweetness that is just so good. So I highly recommend this, especially if you think the Sol de Janeiro is too strong. I think this is amazing. Is that it? No. I did go get two more Sephora of the gift sets. I have the one and I ended up loving it and I use everything that's in there. It's incredible, love it so much. So I was like, let's try the other two because if one's incredible, let's see if the other two are. Also, don't get rid of these boxes right here because they can store so much stuff. I will insert a picture. I actually use the, the one that I already have and I use it in my makeup drawer and it holds my makeup perfectly. And so make sure you reuse at least this, at least if you don't want this, you can use the actual box, but I haven't opened these yet. This is the first one. This is $54 and it says $166 value. It has the Grande Lash MD, the Milk Primer, which I wanted to try, the Natasha Den Denona um, three eyeshadow palette set, the NARS Laguna Bronzer, which I do love the Tantic Marc Jacobs Bronzer, and the this will be my favorites, the Fenty Beauty um, Contour Stick. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I use those usually, but this is a good travel one because the Marc Jacobs one is like the size of my head. Um, and then it has the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter, Fenty Beauty Full-Size Mascara, Full size beauty blender, the way leaving conditioner, which I actually bought that's coming in another order from Sephora um, because I love it so much. So I don't mind having this one, even though another one's coming because I go through it really fast and it works wonders. And then the Kosas uh, wet lip gloss and then is Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Corrector. Um, I've heard things about it that people are loving this, so we'll see. I'll try that one. So I got that one. I'll keep you guys updated on that. I will say the lip kit that I got, I will insert a picture here or here. I have used the mess out of it. It has the Clinique uh, Black Honey. That's amazing. 
uh, the NARS red lipstick. It's like a true red, not like an orangey red. And I've used the mess out of that one, especially this time of year. The Summer Fridays Lip Butter. I think it's, uh, I just went to Sephora. So just the lip butter was $22 just to get the one. And that was just one of the lipsticks in there. And I think the whole set was like $36. Um, it is well worth it in my opinion. And I am one of those people who like a lot of these gift sets end up being chintz, but I, for some reason, these Sephora ones I think are always a home run and they always give you so much for what you get. So Highly recommend that one that I already purchased. I don't want to recommend these because I haven't tried them, but the way they look, it seems like they'd be pretty good. Uh, this is a Tower 28 full-size lip gloss, the Ilia Mascara, which Ilia Mascara was my favorite before the Mile High Maybelline Sky High mascara that I always use. And so this is probably my favorite fancy mascara, and the Sky High is my favorite, like, drugstore but it's also my favorite of all time um i've heard really good things about this merit it it's almost like very sophisticated it looks like the the makeup line and that's a full size the say i don't know what that how to say that is it maybe it's just say say uh it's a glowy super gel lightweight dewy highlighter and star glow uh this is the milk makeup in full size and this one is it just says color chalk and hopscotch so i'm assuming it's like an eyeshadow you could put on and then the tatcha liquid silk canvas which i really wanted to try and i think just this one in the trial size was like 20 or 22 dollars at Sephora and I wanted to try that and so I was like for 36 I can get all of that so that's what I did I got this Ooh. um also that's on the way is the um rare beauty by Selena Gomez the blush trio stick things that I got and I think the leave-in conditioner I didn't go crazy for the Sephora sale honestly because I only got 10% off because I shop at Ulta most of the time or on the actual company's websites. A lot of times they do more promotions than Sephora does. So like Natasha Denona will do a sale. So I'll order directly from the site where it's still full price on Sephora. So I don't shop at Sephora as much as um, most people do because I think I can find a better deal on the actual site. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Zendo Palette. I have... Ooh, ooh. Did you guys see that? I have the mini love palette and I have used the mess out of it. And so, uh, and I think I have her sunrise palette and I have her blush palettes. Um, so I do love her a lot. I think she's great. Do I think like the hundred dollar eyeshadow palettes are worth it? Absolutely not. But I do get these mini ones and I did get the sunrise one for, I think like $35 on sale. So Go to her website, just always look for sales, not just on Sephora and Ulta. Just actually go to the company, especially around Black Friday, and look to see what they have. But this is the Zendo palette. The big one is really pretty, but I think just these shades will be enough for me. I think these are $25, the mini ones. And like I said, the mini love that I got, I use the mess out of. I'll insert a picture somewhere. It's like some of it's totally gone. So I do use these. I do love these. And is that it? Golly, it seems like I got so much, but I haven't seen y'all in a long time. So this is just collective of what I've got in a long time. I will be back with more. And thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday, Thanksgiving. Uh, get your Christmas shopping done early because things are delayed. And don't forget, uh, it's not about the presents. It's about Jesus. So have a wonderful day. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.